Nice, huh? Got a little touch of paint on the boat here. Um, Marvin, you see this right here? Grab that. Pull that. Pull it. Pull, pull, pull. There you go. You see that piece? That's made to where you can put it through the boat. See, like normally on a big boat like that, it would be through the back back here. And you put your rubber drain plug. <laughs> But being that you don't drain this boat out the back, you drain it here. Yeah. So if we can make that hole there bigger, is that plastic in there now, yes. PVC? Yes. So maybe when you take that out, the hole's almost the same then. So let's see if we can remove that. And then we'll epoxy this in with marine epoxy and put it and put it through. Okay. And then this here goes in from the top. So put it in this way. Okay. Because this here goes at the top. And then we'll put a brass nail here somewhere and tie a nylon on here so that we don't ever lose this. So when I pull it out, it'll okay. just stay hanging in here then. And uh, we'll set this up on there. So that can be your, your chore. Yeah, get one of those nails and tie this first so that a kid or something don't grab it and take it, okay? Mm -hmm. Make that the first thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe double tie, put two nylons, mm -hmm. okay? So a kid don't disappear with it. But yeah, try to chisel out that and see if we have some marine epoxy. But can you, I don't think we epoxy it if it's raining though. We might need to wait and see if the rain stops. I'll tell you what, I'll put this back up there and we'll see if the rain stops. And you can go ahead and be clearing out that hole after you finish painting. After finish painting. Yeah, work on that after you finish painting, yeah. Forward a little bit. Oh, I think it's okay right there. But now let's get that motor. I want to put the motor on. Yeah, put epoxy first. But I will try first. Oh, but I don't want to bend it. No, don't beat on that. Don't beat on that. If you put if you hit that. Let me show you. Get a piece of cocoa lumber that's flat yes, and yes, put on top of it and hit direct, okay? Yes. Don't don't hit it directly with the hammer. Put it a flat piece on there. Mm -hmm. oh, we got to get it in the middle. Make sure it's lined up right in the middle down at the bottom now. It's got to go over that way more. Oh, that's good right there. Mm. You know, it's hitting this right here. Might need to loosen that, see if we can bend this around. Or see if you can take the hammer and tap that over. Hold up, hold up on it a little bit. Just or rock it over this way some. Okay. No, 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 no. Tap it back. Yeah. Don't hit this. Don't break my knob, man. There it goes. Okay, now, now let it down. All right, let's get it back center there. Does it need to go back this way? Oh. Is it good, Rata? Ah, 
So we're discussing this this motor weighs um, about 24 kilos about 24 for this outboard and then unlike them with the little diesel they don't put very much fuel they only carry about as much fuel as maybe is even in that little blue pan right there um, not very much maybe even less than that sometimes or a couple bottles that they can pour and fill again but I'm gonna have closer to like six u.s gallons y'all have to do a conversion on that to, to liters so i will have a little bit extra weight of the tank but marvin's saying that's good because we need the extra ballast in here um so the that end i'll have to go back this way move that stuff right there Get your nail there also, bro. Let's see how far forward we can move that. i put that tube here. So we got a little extra still. Go up there right behind that mount. Yes. So that would be a little weight where the motor used to be when it's full tank. <coughs> Uh, we're gonna make some um, bamboo up there in the front yeah that's another thing I was gonna get you guys to make let's think about that where we're gonna put that and to drive this someone's got to be able to steer it right here someone probably has to sit Yes, yes. Maybe right here. Because mm. somebody's going to have to sit mm. up here. And you're going to have to sit maybe at an angle like I'm standing right now. Mm. Because you can't steer it behind you. So you'll have to be at an angle maybe right here. Mm. <coughs> See, you got to steer and do this throttle. So you're going to have to turn at an angle. Uh, that way? Or it's going to be this way? So I got them making up a little bamboo floor because down in here, that's where water will be and you don't want your feet and everything you got, your bag sitting down where water is going to slosh back and forth because you're going to get water in the boat. Little waves are going to crash over and and all. I just had Joel in there sitting, man. He's sitting there nice and smooth down low right there. Then another seat here. And like I say, these are floor pieces and he's adjusting another one over there right now. It'll be a wide one here in the middle that two people could actually kind of sit back to back. Um, and then if I don't want them, I can just set them out of the way or whatever, just lift them up. If I had something I want to carry in there, they're just easily removable. I had to make this one a little smaller just then. It was longer, so people's legs up against each other there. So maybe we should, we should be able to ride four people in the front like that one facing in one facing back this way that way and that way the speed goggles <laughs> hey it looks good though man huh? it, it don't look that bad chop i like it speed boat well we're gonna try it out Oh, hey, your mama got a chicken over a rooster? Huh? Uh, if not, we just cut Miller. <laughs> the plug's in. Yeah, push it on out there. 
I want to see how it sets in the water first. I'm going to look for bubbles. <laughs> ah, nice look. Okay. 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 Huh? <laughs> She's scared. You want to go in? Yeah, let me get in. Yeah, senior citizens have to ride up front. <laughs> Just anywhere you can get in. Hey, don't get my boat wet inside. Wow, the bike came way up. Goodbye, Philippines. Bon voyage. Bye, Lord Blob. Bye, Lord Blob. Chat me. That was fun right there. It worked perfect. I don't think I need to change nothing on that motor back there. It was dead on. And another thing, I looked at that tiller handle. If I was to even want to lower that in the transom, the tiller handle would drop down lower on those sides and I wouldn't have the steering that I have. It, right where it's at, everything is just perfect on it, man. That sucker run out good, smooth, easy to operate, much better. The guys really like it, man. Much better than their little sit-ups they have here. Just too easy. All it needs now is an easier way to roll in and out. And I already have an idea for that, so uh, I know the commenters are going to engineer it for me. And that's okay. They can it, they might have a better idea than I have, but I do have an idea for this crazy journey. <laughs> Man, it feels like you can just take off in that thing anywhere you want to go right now. I know it. Yeah. It does. A bunch. <laughs> I got a bunch. It's a little hot right now. I need a canopy over us. <laughs> Woo! Fun, fun.
but we're about to take this on the evening cruise yeah evening time cruise boy look at that isn't it beautiful decided to do it again Well, that was fun to take the boat out again second time today what a blast uh definitely gonna make some changes to those outriggers marvin told me they really needed new bamboo um not not the pontoon part of it itself but the cross pieces that go out and they go with a slight curve and i want some that come out and drop more right at the end and right now that one is going down and shaving into the water as the boat tip side side and it's putting a big splash right back there right in my face man so we can get that adjusted that's no problem and uh and it'd be fun making those corrections and all i want to record some with my camera but i knew i'd get it soaking wet out there plus the touch screen you can't use it if your hands are wet the nephew's walking by and uh can't use touch screen when your fingers wet man it just it trips it out it don't know what you're trying to do it opens all kinds of stuff you don't want it to open but i did get some gopro footage so that's pretty cool um and you know there'll be time for more footage later on but i tell you it's just so fun to get back out there on that water again because it's been a while and uh and just run around and be a little silly and have fun with uh family right there and with the workers that help put in the work on this and and all now in all honesty i'll tell something the boat cut out started uh, 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 and then died on us once way on down and of course we had some oars with us but nobody wants the embarrassment to come oaring in after we've been 
doing some modification like this. So uh, right before we pulled up right here too, it was starting a little bit of that cutting out and sputtering again. It could possibly be that my fuel tank's not venting well. Could possibly be there's a little bit of trash somewhere. Um, I checked the filter, everything. I just go through and give it a once over. And I wanna put fresh plugs in it as well. And I told them that's why we're doing nearby runs right here along back and forth by the beach is because we are working the bugs out for a motor that has set for the past four years. And I'm not as sure exactly what all was done with it before I owned it. So we've got to work those bugs out and we've got to earn trust with it before we go far out anywhere. And, uh, and I'd rather that thing show that it's got a little cutting out going on like it did. And, uh, know to address that before I get six, seven miles offshore out here or 11 or 14 miles out to where I'm wanting to go or some other places out across over here and the thing starts sputtering out or something. But I also want to tell this, there's something else that's going to be happening in that boat that even if I lost power, there's a pretty good chance without oaring that I could go into the shore. But we'll tell all that another time. Hope you enjoy watching these little modifications I'm making to the boat and kind of making it different than what the locals have here. Um, it's just like this house. I did a different method than the local method and the same thing on the boat. I'm doing a little method that's different than the local method. It doesn't mean their method's totally bad. It doesn't mean that my method is better. It's just, it's different. And I'm not scared to step out and do something different here. I'm not scared of the ridicule and things for People, you know, from people that just don't know, you know, all they know is one thing and one thing only. So it's kind of fun to get everyone here a chance to see something different. A lot of naysayers got hushed up today. <laughs> I like that part. I do like that part when you can slap down them naysayers. And, uh, man, I couldn't ask for the boat to steer any better. It seems that the engine is, is just setting just right into the water and all. I, I don't see any adjustments I need to make. Just uh, go through and uh, do a little bit more tuning up and making sure the fuel system's all really clean. I'm running fresh gas in it right now, uh, fresh mixture with the oil and everything. Uh, it's a brand new fuel line. I did clean the filter. It has a cleanable filter. Maybe I'll go through and just check it one more time in case it picked up something. And uh, I'm, I think it's just something really minor because it actually, when it died, I choked it and cranked it and it cranked again and we drove it on home. And just as we were starting to pull up right here at the beach, it was doing a little bit of that like it's starving for fuel. So I know it's fuel issue. Something else I'll sort out. That's boat life. So you all comment, comment away, tell me what you think and all. So now it's time to go back to the Sea Ray project. And I think that's gonna be a really fun project. That's really what all of this is working towards anyway. Because listen here, if I had got this boat going and I'm still wanting to work the bugs out of it and it quit on me out there, I would need a way to tow it back in. And I'm not top it like to ask people. I don't like all the drama and the cheesemus and everything else, right? So with that small boat, and with the power it has with that outboard on it, I'm able to slowly tow in my own boat if I need it to, if there was a problem or anything. So it's a safety net for me, it's a backup. And uh, I really wanted that. So I wasn't that I was putting the cart in, you know, in front of the horse. So uh, Melinda wouldn't go on the boat today when I took it out. She didn't want to get out in the sunshine. She had her little parasail. What do, you, what do you call that? Parasol? What do y'all call umbrella you use out just for the sun? They call that what? I forget that <laughs> name. Parasol? Something like that, right? I'm sure y'all correct me. There's all these people that really make sure I say everything. Perfecto. Perfecto. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Like everyone talks the same in the whole wide world. Yeah. Plus, when you are first launched at one, I just I just took my shower, so I don't want to do oh, it again. So, oh, that's why. Tomorrow, oh. I'm willing to do it. Really? Yes. Yeah. There's morning. No, I don't know if there's any ferry schedule in the morning. Yes, in the morning, I think so. I, 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 I think we canceled the ferry I schedule. I need to book the ferry schedule tomorrow. <laughs>
So uh, what did the guys think that was up there as we was running around out there on the water? Well, they get excited and kind of different, you know, like the one that we look. And I told them that when we went to Antique, you know, there's a, that kind of boat also that there's no, not only here because the you guys is just only here, you never explore. So me and yeah. James, we went explore and that kind of boat was not only here. But anyway, uh, since they're so excited and they're happy, you know, they're just uh, really enjoying it. <laughs> Yeah, they were talking about how fast and quiet it was. Yes, yeah. Because, of course, a pump boat running that fast as we were, it's like, <laughs> you know, it's really loud yeah. and black smoke coming up. And this was fairly quiet, and we were boogieing on across the water pretty good, you know. Mm. I think it was moving pretty nice. Yeah. So, I think I think just about everybody but Joel took a turn. And and Ambin, Joel and Ambin didn't get in. Well, uh, Joel said that I'm maybe next time because there's a... You need to do some work on, on his house. So. Ah, yeah. Well, I appreciate those boys. All their help, they jumped in. It's a fun yeah. project. They're excited. Modify mm -hmm. something, do something different. Break up their boring life, you know. Everything's always the same, same, mm -hmm. same. Carbon copy every day, yeah. you know. And same for us, too. So it's a fun project. And I got more for them. And uh, I'm happy to have them. And I'm sure they're probably happy to have us. So... It's a win-win. Winnie-winnie. Yeah. Winnie-winnie chicken dinner. Winnie-winnie chicken dinner. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to shower. I am wet. And you want to see some dirty feet? Look at that. Covered in sand. But it was a very fun ride out there just then. I really enjoyed that mm -hmm. a lot. I did. Well, this is the first time you've seen Mel and I actually together on camera for the new year. And we're already, what, four or five days into the new year? Mm -hmm. So at least right now while we're together uh, and she don't have a big chunk of watermelon in her mouth, <laughs> we can greet you uh, a happy new year yes, together. Yes, happy new year. Uh, belated, happy new year with you all. Uh, yeah, well, y'all, see, I like, I done, I done <laughs> train her up to be a, a Texan boy, a, a Southerner, not just a Texan, a Southerner with y'all. <laughs> I well, love it. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good, y'all. Yeah. Man, she's getting it now. Well, take care, everybody, and God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.